Okay, here we have my Prime 1 Bimahe uh, Joker, one third scale. I feel like I'm the last one in the world to get their uh, Joker come through. I um, have to wait at least an extra two months being in Europe and the UK. There's the base, um, awesome detail on it. You've got the uh, Bimahe Batman on the front, tied back with his chains, you almost, I would say almost, Feels like you've got another statue, but you know it's nice to have a, another uh, reference to Batman in the collection. And the chains uh, just strap on and through with magnets. Um, they have specific holes they need to go in. I'm surprised they just didn't make both ends of both chains exactly the same uh, connection points. So you could use either one on either hole, but they all seem to be different and have one specific magnetic point they need to go into. Here's the bat. Amazing detail. And yeah, it's just a combination of uh, sort of a blacks and greys with a bit of sort of a, a light grey wash on it. And then here we have uh, the boots on the um, Joker. I mean, you do get the detail with the one thirds. You know, you compare them to the quarter scales, especially Sideshow PFs, which, which are a bit more sort of uh, comic accurate. Have, they have less realism, as I tend to call it. But uh, you look at the Prime 1, uh, one thirds, and the detail is amazing. You can see that's either crocodile or snakeskin boots. And revolver. And purple trousers, and you've got a chain there, which is an actual little chain. And the detail just in the clothing is amazing. It's all fully sculpted. And um, for about an hour, I had the hand backwards, which for a second I didn't think it was weird, but it also kind of worked because it was kind of creepy and claw like before someone online told me I had the hand backwards. <laughs> and that looks way more familiar from the photos. And then if you come up, I'll get out of the shadow. I'll stop creating the shadow. You have the Mayo portrait. And oh, this has probably got to be one of the most accurate pieces I've had, or even seen, um, as far as the um, Visual reference for the for the material. What do you call it? Fuck it. Pause. And over here we've got the portrait, and just incredible. I mean, you have to see it in person to really appreciate it. I mean, hopefully, it comes across on the video. It seems to be coming across quite well on my screen. Uh, I've got a bit of natural light on it from the window for as long as I don't stand in front of the window. But yeah. And the eyes, they've got a bit of a gloss in the eyes, um, you know, as an eye would. It doesn't have a matte finish. Uh, it's very glossy eyes, so you get a bit of reflection of light or the light bulb from the ceiling uh, if you have it in the right position, uh, which is realistic because human eye reflects light. And you have a hair, pretty awesome. Uh, down the back you've got the uh, jacket, jacket's all sculpted, uh, no mixed media, no fabric or anything. Um, that's waving up as if the wind's hitting them. Yeah, it's pretty freaking awesome. Yeah, so I'll just... Uh, give you a bit more of a full view of them because I always hate it when people do videos and they spend 90% of the time just zoomed in on a freaking body part. You want to just see the whole thing as you'd look at it if you had it in your own room, right? At the moment I've just got them on their art boxes. Uh, I used to have a pull out sofa here uh, for our guests but um, well for the few times a year you have a guest stay on your pull-out sofa versus an extra wall to put some uh, statues 
Yeah, the statue's won. Yeah, and just up here, um, the Killing Joke Joker, which arrived a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, so that's the uh, Prime 1, one third scale Bomehu Joker. Uh, first ordered this about over a year ago, so it's been a long time waiting. But um, yeah, if you get a chance to get a hold of it, or if there's uh, any any left, I think there's some standard ones left without the head sculpts. Uh, without the head sculpts. What am I fucking. <sighs> And over here are uh, uh, three extra portraits. I got the deluxe. Um, yeah, it kind of seems because of the, how great these are, you'd think it would be get the deluxe or nothing. But the truth is, um, I'm probably going to display it 99% of the time with the regular portrait. So if you get a chance, you know, don't hesitate to get the uh, standard one without these three. Um, cause, yeah, the main portrait is awesome as well. Um, these are just a bit of extra bonus really. And they'll just sit up there with Daniel Balbust. Alright, that's it. Uh, just another sneak peek of one of my statues. So, I um, hope you enjoyed it. And stay cool to after school. Laters.